Hey, what is going on everybody, Ragecraft here. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at a very exciting series played at Home Story Cup between two of my favorite Starcraft player. so without further players. So without further ado, let us introduce the players. So spawning here in the top left hand corner. No, top right hand corner of the map and playing with the red zerg pt we have none other and in the current world champion of starcraft 2 i'm of course talking about Cyril. and spawning in the bottom left hand corner and playing with the blue terran pieces we have none other the innovation Okay guys, so yeah. Okay, so it looks like innovation will be going for a pretty standard build. Now let us see. Now, let's take a look at the production tab. Looks like both of the players will be going for a pretty normal build order. Now, we all know that Innovation has been cheesing for the last, two, I don't know, half a year or so, or maybe even more. I'm not sure. But it looks like this time, Cyril will be the one cheesing. Alright now, so... Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so, I'm sorry about thinking, uh, I'm sorry about thinking, uh, no, no, I'm not sorry about thinking, I'm sorry about not casting this, um, but, you gotta understand, there, there's nothing exciting going on, not right now, because it's the early game, and both of the players are playing it really careful, because this is the grand final of Stor Home Story Cup, and none of them want to screw it up. So, no, none of them is doing something really cheeky or really weird or anything. It's just a full show of uh, how careful a player can be. Not try trying not to make any mistake whatsoever. But here comes this uh, harassment attack slash run by slash whatever. Well, whatever, you know what I mean. I don't know what to call this. Now, innovation with those uh, over with this overlord positioning. A female Kiarak. What does a male look like though? It's interesting that we have those critters around the map, isn't it? Anyway now, so let's take a look at the build order. It looks like Innovation is going for the most normal-ish style that it can be going for. Now, of course, that um, doesn't mean he is going to. Actually, what does that mean? I'm not sure. Anyway, but it looks like those Hellions as well as that Banshee will be moving across the map. Now I think I've said this already. No, I there's no way I said this already. But uh, those skins, those skins look awesome. Oh, 
Okay, now. So... Yeah. Alright, so this hit squad of Hellions is moving in right now. Those screens are there, ready to intercept. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, take it the way you want to take it. Alright, now. Okay, so uh, innovation is going for the bio this time. Now those two benches are moving in, but there is already detection at this position. Two drones will go down, maybe a third one, but all in all, not too much damage being done here. Now of course innovation does want to do more damage. Where the Banshees? Ben Mr. Banshee? Here you are. But Mr. Banshee. You know what I mean. Why don't Banshees have their goggles? There they are. Never mind. Anyway. Where's the second Banshee? Did die. Anyway. Banning Nest. It is now ready. There's a lot of Hellions out. Marines are being produced five at a time and there's going to be nine at a time. Combat shields are coming out. So yeah. Now oh yeah right. Uh, let me not forget. Let me not forget it because I'm a hundred percent gonna forget. Oh nice. No, no, uh, no let me forget. I'll be talking about another thing. A little bit now, beautiful drop there in the main base of uh, Serral, getting some of those uh, workers to now. Oh, I was talking. I, I was talking. I wasn't talking. About. Anyway, the thing I was saying is that uh, I wasn't saying this, but what what I was going to say is that uh, I recently got Battlefield Five. I was wondering if you guys might want to see some gameplay of it or maybe some uh, campaign playthrough, you know, or stuff like that, because I literally got it two days ago, I've played some of it, like, it's, it's really awesome, I love that game 5, it's one of my favorite games, and honestly, you should have asked me like uh, before getting this game, which I think is better, Battlefield or Call of Duty. I would 100% said, said Call of Duty, but right now I don't think so anymore. Now, mutas, are there mutas? Please tell me there are mutas. Innovation, uh, Sterile, do not disappoint me. Ex me expectations. There are mutas, people. We have mutas. And the mutas are incredible. Okay, so I are not incredible, but they have recently been buffed a bit because tours have been nerfed so now innovation can't just make them tours and uh, that's it you know just make like five tours and those mutars are done that's how it works but right now it does not because the splash damage of the tours has been reduced and tours have also lost one armor which is not a lot but it's enough it's more than enough to make those mutas uh, be way more deadly. So yeah, anyway, leave a thumbs up if you guys want to see some Battlefield 5 gameplay. Because I have to tell you, that game looks and plays just amazing. Just one of the greatest games. 
I think, I mean, I don't know, they are not done yet, so I can't tell you if this, if that's the best game that I can. Anyway, it looks like Innovation still decided to make a tour. Or, right, two of them. So, yeah. 12 damage versus light. And it does light. Yeah, they are. So we'll take. So that means it takes 10 Thor hits to kill the guys. 10 hits. But then again, how many missiles does it launch? That we might not know. Now, obviously, with upgrades. With the sun upgraded mutas, Thor's can still do some damage. But I don't think Sarah's gonna let that happen. Big Bane and Kitty there, they are also around. The Thor's are shooting at the mutas, but you can see but you can see that mutas are not really affected by those Thor's so much. Like as much as they once were. But it looks like uh, innovation is pushing forward. But while that's all going on, the mutalists are back and they are here to do some damage. But that doesn't matter. Kills all of your bases. Because right now, while the mutals are dealing damage, trying to focus down that one tick lab. They have me shoot away by just a couple of marines. Alright, so those stars got absolutely destroyed. I still hope that Medivac would have Medivac would have been would have picked it up, you know. Now here are the mutants. As well as the uh, everything else. Mutant Bane has been the gold standard for quite a while. But then when the towers got buffed, it got um, it got demolished. And Hydra became the gold standard. Hydra in Bane. But now looks like Mutals might be back. And honestly, I think that's awesome because they like Mutals. Not necessarily making them, but they are fun units to fight, watch, and use. So mutants are just a lot of fun in general. So those marauders are soaking up a lot of gaming, but the Zergens will be able to clean them up. Now those widow mines. Those widow mines. 11 SCVs have gone down. How? Where? And when? That is what I want to know. Now why is the innovation not making more marines? He should make more marines. There we go. And also, why is Innovation not landing his mules? He's gonna have like three mules. Um, three? Yeah, three mules. The mules are awesome. Anyway, now. But it looks like for now, the Zerg army will not be able to do much. Now, Innovation, keep in mind, he is on five bases. While Cyril is on, is just taking his sixth place. All tribes are now coming out, as well as infestors. Those fungal growth man, those fungal growth can deal a lot of damage. Now I'm not too worried about those uh, those uh, ultralifts because the marauders are really good at countering ultras. No upgrades on the mutalists, so that means that they are pretty dead against those marines. But here come the Zergings. Well, they'll just get wrecked. But now there are all shots out on the map. I don't see the infestor. Now here comes the run by. Too late, buddy. Too late. That Thor will indeed deal with them from up there. But it looks like uh, those uh, marines, or uh, rather, also will be evacuated. 
but Big Bane and his ultras have been transfused once again. They do not have all of their armor upgrades. Fungal Grove, big Fungal Grove over there. But it looks like the upgrade on uh, Innovation Army might prove to be a little bit too much right now. Because to be fair, without those screen transfuses, transfuses, that army would have been dead, but 28 ACVs went down. But more and more marines are coming out, 16 of them. More precise are out on the map with 9 marauders, 1 point, 4 widow lines, where are the widow lines? There they are. Anyway, and more marines as well as marauders are coming out. Now the mutas have not been dealt with so far. Now, of course, Thor's with two armor upgrades can deal with those missiles, especially if they have some marines to back them out. Alright, now a Zergling run by might be coming in, or the whole army of Serral. Is that the whole army of Serral? Zerglings, Banings, and one Ultra? I don't think so. Serral, where's the rest of your arm? There it is. Five Ultras. That's just a run back. Which will get deflected. Those, uh, those, uh, what are they called? Those Banelings tried to burrow there, but there was a missile threat. Now, the third armor upgrade is coming out here for innovation, and only the first armor upgrade for flyers. But no, the first armor upgrade for flyers is coming out for Sterile. Now, that's a lot of banes right there. They will all get cleaned up. Beautiful engagement there. All just have their extra speed here. Your extra speed upgrade that I forgot the name of. And we are transitioning towards the late game. But Innovation has a very powerful army with a lot of marauders as well as those points that even though they're not that great you can still deal a lot of damage. And while the ultras are coming in, they are moving super fast. Oh no, that's not nice. It's not nice at all that Thor died. Why did, why did you let that Thor die? Innovation, why did you let it die? There is this one cheeky widow mine over here. Yeah, so ultralists are very powerful. Now, liberators are coming up. I do think though that is the correct choice. As liberators can deal with the ultras with relative ease. There's no denying that uh, innovation is clearly ahead supply-wise, but Serra does have so many workers that it doesn't even matter anymore. Now Serra is setting himself up for another run by, but he really we don't mind hits right there. And Seven Jones went down for some reason. I mean, okay, I don't mind that. Now, um, what's going on over here? So there are a few more marauders coming out of the map. Some reason why I don't those we don't like there, I don't know. But, uh, Link Bane Ultra is the name of the game right now. No Hydras, no Mutas. Link Bane Ultra. So, obviously, Innovation knows that, so he is trying to do as much damage with those Liberators. Because those Liberators can deal a lot of damage, they can provide a lot of value. Especially if you use them in choke points like that. Now, Marauders are also extremely powerful. They deal a lot of damage, and there are more Liberators. And now the Widow Mines are killing the Banelings But there are just too many Ultras left over And while more Marines and Marauders are coming out There's no denying that uh, Cyril does sure look like he's on... Look, 
sure it does look like he's on top of this. I mean, every single push uh, innovation did was deflected. But uh, with one chip strategy, or with one thing done right, or rather with one thing done wrong by Serral, I do think he might be able to win this one. I would have loved to see these things. But I guess Marauders are really good. Now there are Corruptors out on the map. And the Corruptors will attempt to kill those uh, those Liberators. Beautiful fungal growth over there. Uh, Liberators are providing a lot of value right now. But there's no denying that there are a lot of altars place over. You do not want to send those Marines over there. Now more Liberators are coming out as well as Marines and Marauders looks like liberators are the correct choice here for uh, how many times have i said correct choice for the past five minutes not sure anyways but it looks like nice we don't want to keep there beautiful pickup but uh innovation does have to be careful so many old shots went down It's, it's kind of fine. Now there is a lot of surging as well as bangings coming out. I'd love to see a switch towards a few siege tanks maybe. Like a couple of siege tanks would be nice. Nonetheless. Now innovation is trying to expand here but Serral is already taking this one. Uh, there are more ultras, but that's a lot of liberators as well as marines and marauders. Uh, Sarah does have to be careful. Ultras are running in, but this time there's not as many paintings. And it looks like innovation will take game number one. Now hold on, guys, because we've got some more. So I'll see you guys in game number two. Alright, guys, and here we are in game number two now without further ado let us introduce the player so spawning here in the top left corner of dreamcatcher le and playing with the blue terran pieces he is one of my favorites and he is innovation now in the bottom right playing with the red zerg pieces he is currently the world champion of starcraft 2 i am of course talking about Serral. now both of those players are incredible players looks like they will be playing that standard stand really standard matchup even though even though we see uh yeah uh pool first here by Serral, so he might be attempting to cheese this one. Now, of course, I don't know if that's the case, but I hope it is. You know, afterwards, I might have to take a shower. Oh, never mind. Serral is going to expand, but he went for a pool first just to be safe. I mean, you can never be too safe while playing against innovation, can you now? Not in the early game, nonetheless. Anyway, but it looks like innovation will be going for that really standard-ish playstyle. And I like this. I heard I like this a lot. Because now all of us can see, like, it's hard to look good when you're losing. But what innovation did back there, even though he lost, it was an incredible show. And if I could play like that, if I could play like that, I'd be a pro player. Or at least, even though I wouldn't go to tournaments and stuff because school and stuff, even though I probably would, I would still at be at least Masters 1 if not Grand Masters. But I'm pretty sure that's Grand Masters, that, that's Grand Masters level of play right there. And even though Sarah has like 7, 
each K MMR on the ladder right now on the European server. Which is still Grandmaster. I don't know what my point was right there. Anyway, it looks like Innovation will be doing the exact same thing. Cyril this time does not have the links out. Yeah. Oh, never mind, he does. Where are they? Oh, wait, what, what, what? Here they are. Happy little zombies. Now, that force of innovation has left. And with that, the zergon. Oh, never mind, the force hasn't left, only the, the Reaper left. But the Zergings will be able to get one of those receivers before they're troubled. Now that Overlord flying high in the sky, even though it's not flying that high, we should away by that one more. Anyway, now Sierra does have 32 drones. Innovation only has 27 SCVs and 2 mules, which I guess is as well as good as. Anyway, oh! Oh! Innovation now! Going for that one Liberator. Going for more Hellions. Now, a Liberator with a lot of Hellions. What could this possibly mean? That means A. Harassing Serral to death. B. Like, you know, economic harassment. Right? Anyway, or B, going for a very weird push that might just work out because the the freaking uh, liberator can deal a lot of damage. No, that will not be the case. But if he's not careful, that queen is gonna be dead. Oh my god! Looks like that uh, liberator will be shot away right there. But it's not even that is pretty cool. I mean, it is, it's worth a lot of skill. Now, those Hellions are not quite able to get those uh, juicy juicy drones. To get them roasty choosy drones. You know, roasty choosy drones are, are, are great, are the greatest thing. Now, that's a choke point. That's the choke point you are looking for. But the queens can deal a lot of damage, and so can the zergings. The queens are getting transfused. And it looks like all of the hellions will be destroyed. Let's take a look, let's take a look at the AP and tab. An average of 300 APM for most of the players. You, you can see right here the, the skill gap. It's not that big. An APN doesn't really mean a lot because some of it might be just spam if you look at EPN. Never mind. Anyway, looks like uh, Innovation will once again be going for a uh, good world build. Yeah, it's spamming once again now. Those values will for sure kill that marine. But it was all for the swarm. Now, skin pack is not yet ready. But, but, my friends, there are not a lot of zerglings out. A roach one is coming up. Or never mind, it's already done. 12 zerglings are now being produced. Yeah, sure, just get the roach one so we can make zerglings. That's, that makes sense. I don't know, sometimes, sometimes pro players can confuse me. But it doesn't really matter. Anyway, now. So, yeah, sure. I, I, so, I'm sorry, guys, I'm not the greatest caster. But I still hope you enjoy watching this video. Now, a big push. A pretty scary army is coming up. 
Now those screens, those screens can absolutely be okay. But so can those systems if they're not careful and they were not careful. Those screens just had to provide vision. Now if the new way uh, transfuse now works, uh, there can be a lot of overhealing but also it can be useful. I don't know because if a queen takes some damage and then gets healed and then takes some more damage but that uh, kill comes back it's just like a I don't know, I can I can't compare it to something else. Maybe like a slurp juicing Fortnite? I'm sorry, I can I keep making the Fortnite comparisons. Now three bunkers are coming up here for innovation. I'm not sure why that is what that is for. Looks like he's preparing his defenses. And he likes three guys so but I'm pretty sure Daryl knows about this. He seems to think he's ready. More money is already. Everything is locked and loaded. SCVs are being pulled off the line. They are going to attack. Those SCVs should probably repair the bunkers. But it looks like Sarah. Even though it, I don't know, I really thought the innovation was gonna win. It looks like Sarah is gonna be taking game number two. Or not? Those Marines and Marauders can sure screw this uh, push up. Like seriously now. So this is probably attack. But there is a sick tank in back. It's getting repaired by that one hero SCV. Those other hero but not so hero SCVs are coming in. And it looks like for now innovation should be fine. But Sarah is moving forward, he's biling the tank. There is another tank in the background. There's a full starter step there, but there's just too many hoses. The SCVs are being pulled off the line. Biles are coming in once again. And with the GG. Innovation taps out and Serral takes game number two. Now without further ado, let us go to game number All three. Alright guys, and here we are in game number three. Now without further ado, let us introduce the players. So, spawning here in the bottom left hand corner of uh, Cerulean Fall LE. And playing with the red Zerg pieces, we have the world's current world StarCraft world champion, and of course, referring to Serral. Now in the top right, playing with the blue Terran pieces, he is down zero to two. I am talking of none other. Than innovation now yes this is exactly what I was hoping for but it's gonna get scouted no oh no why sir is just too good for this he knew innovation was gonna cheese he just knew it free rex push innovation you better make this work because right now Serhal knows about your cheese. Let, let, excuse me. What did I do? Wrong button. I'm sorry. I was going. I was taking a look at the production tab. Now Serhal is sending out them drones to take a, to kill the SCVs that are building those barracks. And he might just be successful or not. Never mind. Two of the three bags have been completed. How much damage does the money do? Six damage. Now innovation does keep building. But Serhal Serhal went for the hatch first. So his defense is going to be 100% drones. 
Now, what's that thing? Spine crawler? Hold on, how is there? Oh yeah, right, there's a spine cool. Zerglings are coming up. Eight Zerglings are being constructed. But there are already Marines out on the field. And more and more Marines are coming in. Now those drones, those drones are gonna be dead. But there's only a matter of seconds for the Zerglings. The Zerglings are here and they are ready. Now those Marines, those Marines will not survive for long. Or never mind. If Serral keeps doing that, then they will survive for very long. 9 Joes for 5 ACVs. What? 5 ACVs? How did 5 ACVs go down? What the heck? Here's now. How'd you lose 5 ACVs? I'm sorry. Maybe I should stop out acting like I'm those guys' couch or, some coach or something. But I'm really not. And while the spine crawler does remain. Innovation still has a lot of Marines and Marines are, are really strong units. They are indeed very strong units. Now, six more Zerglings are being produced right now. Now, this is a 100% all in. And if the all in fails, you can still there on that spine crawler. But there is a lot of Marines left over and I think this just might not be enough here for Serhal. And with that, putting your eggs in one basket can, can be extremely rewarding or extremely punishing. Innovation is just show us both. Show us both. But with that, Innovation takes game number 3. Now, without any further ado, because I'm excited, I know you guys are excited, I hope you guys are excited. We're gonna be jumping into game number four. All so right, guys, guys, and here we are in game number four. Now, without further ado, let us introduce the player. So, spawning here in the top left hand corner of Acid Plant LE and playing with the Red Zerg pieces. He's currently the World StarCraft 2 champion. I'm talking here about Serral. And in the bottom right he is down 1-0 one, oh, one uh, he is down 1-2-2 two, two. we are currently looking in the main base of innovation now innovation looks like he is gonna be going for that extremely standard build while Serral will be going for that hatch first once again now Serral is scouting for the cheese I, I think I told you guys this story. There, there was this one time where I was like, ha, huh, what, what should I do? Oh, alright, I should probably cheese this game. So I'll proxy right here. My opponent went, was Zerg. He went hatch first. But he sent his overlords right over towards my base. There was only one overlord. I was like, nah, there's no way he's gonna spot it. I was right, right, right. Oh my god, that was such a good Anyway, now it looks like Innovation will be going for that uh, hatch gas pool, which is uh, the gold standard. Or it's not the gold standard, you know, for the pool first, too. But it's been pretty standard over the last uh, few months. A couple of seasons, I'd say. 2018 in general. Anyway, it looks like uh, Innovation will be going for his uh, quote-unquote normal build. Why do I say that? Because uh, there is no such thing as normal. It's only standard. But the standard... The standard changes when the meta changes. The meta has changed, so maybe it's time for the standard to change. Maybe it's time with the standard as going for battle preserves. Innovation. <coughs> I, I'd love to see a battle cruiser or two or maybe a lot murder the Zerg the battle cruisers I'm oh, sorry I get really excited whenever I see battle cruisers and I haven't even seen a battle cruiser like at all there's this really huge your energy but if there is going to be a battle cruiser I am going to be happy Now, 
Sarah uh, is already taking his third. He has the queen at the main, but not one in the natural. Oh, never mind. Here's the queen in the natural, but it doesn't fit right near the natural. Anyway, it looks like. Uh, hmm. Now, if Innovation wants to go for Battle Cruisers, he's going to need a third gas. No, it looks like there is it's just a Liberator this time. I'd love to see a Battle Cruiser, like in any of those matches, I don't care if Innovation's win, if Innovation is gonna win or lose. If it's a Battle Cruiser, I'm happy, okay? Sorry. Anyway, it looks like a big hit squad of Hellions will be arriving in the main base of Seral. Now, if those Hellions can get to the drones, get to the drones, there you go, there you go, there they are. Three drones went down, four drones went down, come on, come on, you can do more, six drones, that's not enough, that's still not enough for them to do it. Eight drones, now we're talking, nine drones, that's okay. I'd have loved to see way more Jones than, than that, like 15 or so. That Zergling. That Zergling is super lucky. Anyway, more Hellions were looking forward to joining your brothers in combat when they found out my brother is dead. Go home. Now, where is that Liberator at? Hold on. Mr. Liberator, there you are. It has... I don't know. Anyway, though, now they're... Like, yeah, you can tell. Cyril has a lot more uh, workers than Innovation has. And actually, not a lot more army for that matter. But those queens are providing a lot of value here for Cyril. Oh yeah, for this walk I was about to say what just happened. Alright now, so there is a siege tank out for Sarah as well as the Marines and the Hellion. Yeah. Imagine if there were vultures in StarCraft. Nah, Hellions yeah, are just better. Overall. Now looks like Innovation wants to play this safe. Get into more barracks get more marines and then just win this now a marauder is also coming out as well as four more marines and medipacks now are we gonna like a uh, third command center or something like that or are we just gonna see a huge uh, drop a huge dream drop of big 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 attack Hmm. This does smell like an all-in to me. Doesn't it now? Now the queens are here. Yeah. Not careful. Sarah, uh, Sarah, uh, rather, innovation might use those medivacs. And those medivacs can provide a lot of value. Bandings are now coming in, I'd love to see like a drop, like, maybe over here, kill the queen or something, we will pick up there, Sarah will of course see that coming and he will send his uh, inside of his main base, but wouldn't that be a full distraction right there, I say that, and immediate oh my god four marines where's the rest of them okay 
Alright, now that's that's what I call a nice push because the th there are no biles whatsoever here for innovation, so he can't bile the siege tanks. But there are a few zergings. Alright, now uh, that queen will not be able to the light. The light of the outside world. Now, more and more uh, army is joining here. This big fight group which has. Big squad, region if you want. Now, efficient are being switched up. If those are in campaigning try to run in there, they will have a hell of a time. Alright, now the so, Liberator. Yes, Liberators. I do think Liberators are the correct option here, and even though uh, Sarah will be having two two updates. There's no denying that more stuff just beats. And yes, if you have a bigger army than your opponent, your defense will gonna be like more stuff beats less stuff. It's that simple. I mean, not necessarily if you have um, if you have 50 zergings and your opponent has like five void rays. I don't think. I don't think uh, more more zergings are gonna be the less voyages because yeah. But you guys know what I mean. Now there is one hero SDG deciding to join the fight. Now the Fitzens in Fitz up in some beautiful positions right there. But it looks like their army is starting to overpower the one of innovation. Now the army supplies are relatively even. But most of innovation is on the way. And even though the Liberators are providing a lot of value, innovation will decide. Dab out. And with that, Serhal takes game number 4. Now, Serhal only needs to win one more in order to win the series. Innovation, on the other hand, he needs 3 more. So, we shall see what will unfold in game number 5. Game number 5, right? Yeah, game number five. So I'll see you guys in game number five in just a sec. All right, guys, and here we are in game number five. Now, without further ado, let us introduce the players. So spawning here in the top left-hand corner of Parasite LE and playing with the blue Terran pieces, we have none other than Innovation already sending out an SCV. And in the bottom right, Playing with the red Zerg pieces, the world champion of StarCraft 2. We have none other than Serral. Okay, now, so innovation. Oh, it's gonna get scouted right away, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Is it? It's not. Innovation is going for that free racks build once again, but in a very unusual spot that Serral might not be able to scout. Oh no, he, never mind, he is definitely gonna scout it. Well, damn it, Serral! But he does not see the third racks. Now, immediately, drones are being pulled off the line. A spawning pool is being built. But the tr the question is, Serral does not know about these last barracks. Which is critical right now. Now, obviously, those drones can't do anything anymore. Serral thinks this is a 2x rush when it's actually a 3x rush and now all the drones are being pulled off the line Serral is not making the same mistake twice oh no 
but the steel free marines if ending their micro correctly they can deal a lot of damage now zerglings out and in greater numbers this time but uh, you still have to be careful now marines are not fast as jokes are they i don't think they are but if uh, one of those bunkers gets finished twins are out that can prove to be a problem you know no spawning no uh, sport color is out just yet but a marine a marine rather a bunker is done now more ACVs have been sent across the map to help one queen is down and it looks like innovation will just take game number five is this game number five yeah it is game number five okay so i see you guys in game number six how time to your pants because we're almost done so i'll see you guys in just a second all right guys and here we are in game number six now without further ado let us introduce the players so spawning here in the bottom right hand corner and playing with the red zerg pieces we have none other than Serral. he's also the current world champion of starcraft 2 but i think you know that by now just by watching this video these don't here just launch them anyway and spawning here in the top left hand corner of uh, fracture le one of my favorite maps Excuse me, we have none other than Innovation. Alright, now Innovation going for uh, the standard build. No longer will he cheese because now Serral is expecting that. Or not, never mind. You, you know, after getting cheesed like that twice, it wasn't in her one still, you'd expect Serral to, um, you know, get. Uh, Get a get a pool first. You know what I mean. Like a, a pool first would be nice. All right now. Okay, so a reaper is now coming out. Uh, we're probably going to see that factory really soon here for innovation now in the meantime on the other side of the map the spawning pool is just about to finish creeper is also almost done here for innovation now another command center is being built but serial expansion is almost done an ACV scout confirming that there is indeed no cheese by serial now I can't remember last time serial cheese and I can't remember last time uh, Innovation didn't cheese but actually I can because it was in this series but um, yeah can you guys see this? hold on, hold on I need to pause look at the Reaper's guns those my friends are not pistols those those don't look like pistols those look like SMGs just wanted to point that out. Anyway, carry on. Now, Innovation is going for the same old build. That uh, is actually pretty good. Back when uh, you could make Cyclones out of a regular factory with no tech lab required, I would uh, just go for the two Cyclones instead of the two Hellions. But that's no longer the case, and the uh, Hellions and Cyclones rather are not that good anymore i mean they deal make way more damage and their dps i think the dps stay the same but their damage per hit i think got increased but the rate of fire i think is definitely decreased by a lot which would make sense nobody will equip the cyclone or for that matter, with a lot of missiles that uh, don't deal a lot of damage and just rather equip them with 
still the same amount of missiles that deal more damage and just have them, you know, deal more damage and not quick fire them. So yeah, there's no need. Okay now, so um, a Viking is now. Wait, what's going on? Oh, Cloak Banish. Never mind. I thought maybe we were going to see a battle cruiser this time. Now innovation. Now rather, a ser a serial rather, is a supply block because of that overlord got killed. But on fracture, I mean fracture is a pretty nice map. I like fracture, like especially in TVP. I don't know why, but I just like it. Probably because I have this high ground right here. I mean, it's really good in TVZ, but only for the defender. Now it has not been. I'm pretty sure there are not none of the new maps on the out here. You know what I mean. Now Hellion as well as the Trooper are moving out. Excuse me. One lonely thing will be making its way across the map now those are those roaches what was that not sure anyway looks like those hellions will be deflected because of those roaches now that one banshee will be able to clear it out of roaches but uh, it will be a while Beautiful chance to use there. Uh, maybe if the bank gets cloaked, that'd be nice. All right now, sport runners are already up and running, so Vation can't really deal that much damage there. But more and more barracks are now coming up here for innovation. Now let's see what else. Looks like that score color was being target fired down. Now there is a score color in the natural, right? But uh, still, that does not mean that all of the drones are safe. Two drones have gone down. But those benches have four kills. I wonder what, two, what, what the other two are. Anyway. It looks like uh, innovation will be going for that um, for that first base location right here up on the high ground. Now let us see. Roaches are out for Serral because Serral knows that Ravagers are good. Rope Ravager is really good. Now, upgrades are coming out here for roaches, more and more roaches are coming out. Now, bio is also very good against roaches. In bio is very good against everything. You can literally play bio in any matchup and still win. I mean, not necessarily, I mean if you face a hundred, like, ten siege tanks, your 100 marines will not be able to do anything against them. Just because by the time they get in range to attack, there's gonna be like five marines left. Anyway, now those um, those fifty marks, those fifty marks are going to die. Now, anyway, <coughs> sorry for that one. It does look like innovation will be playing. With those uh, Hellions, Hellbats, as well as Siege Tanks and Marines. As well as that one Medivac flying high in the sky. Anyway, but uh, it looks like more Zerglings are coming out, as well as a quick hive here. Now, upgrades are coming out here for which is more and more upgrades. Innovation is building another factory, as well as more Marines and Siege Tanks. 
the Marauder have these kind of but I don't see any Marauder on the field. Well, I do see one of them. One lonely Marauder, huh? Never mind, there's two more Marauders. So we have three Marauders. A total of three Marauders and four coming out. Now that's still a pretty scary art. It's a very scary art. And with those uh, potions, oh nice jungle attack here by Cell, pushing some of those uh, marines to go back, leaving those big tanks coverless. Which means that uh, they are dead. Okay, now. So those horses are gonna be dead. Oh, a horse dropped inside of the main base of innovation. Serho wants to end this right here and right now. No, there was a drop. There still is a drop. There is a drop waiting. And Serhal knows he's leaving a queen behind. He knows that there is a drop. The queen is like, I see the Mavax. Swarm forces under attack. Oh, nice. The avatar. Uh, the avatar announcer. Anyway. Swarm forces under attack. Sarah can see those. Um, what do I call them? Those uh, Mavax. No, this is about to be over. Turning away the timer. But a lot can happen in a couple of minutes. Now you can tell Cyril wants to win to end this right here and right now and he is moving forward. These things are being teased up. But Marines, the Marines are abusing that little uh, blind ish as spot right there. The siege things are also doing that. But that's still a lot of banelings. In the banelings, they should be in the banelings or the banglings, whichever of those names makes me very happy. Now more banelings are being morphed in. There are a few. There are a few banelings left over here, but this for the fourth space will be going down. Now, Bainings are moving forward, ba Blinding Clouds have been used on those two things. But there are still Terran forces coming in to reinforce. What? I either counted wrong or what's going on? Did I do the wrong way again? Oh, damn it. Alright guys, so I'll see you in the next game. Alright guys, and here we are in game number 7. The last game of this series, I am really excited to see who is going to win this best of 7 series, which has been incredible so far. Alright, so the reason I was confused in the last game is because I thought there were that was the last innovation win. I didn't uh, innovation rather thoroughly, and I didn't know why there were um, why there was a seventh game. But that don't matter. So without further ado, please let's introduce our players. So spawning here in the bottom left hand corner and playing with the red Zerg pieces. He is currently he currently has the title of world's best StarCraft player. I am of course talking. 
about Sarah. Don't mind the noise in the background. Anyway, and in the top right, one of my personal favorite Terran players and players in general, from who I have learned a lot of strategies and which most of them are cheese strategies. But of course, I'm talking about innovation. Now, both of those players are incredible players, but I'm excited to see what innovation has to show. Because innovation, even though he's been known as w the world's most standard player, over the last couple of, uh, I'd say, months, he has been cheesing a lot. Now, of course, Cyril does know this, but is he really prepared for the innovation cheese? I don't think he is. Now, let's take a look at the production demo. Now, uh, what I said about Cyril's title, spoiler alert, in case you guys didn't know, Cyril won BlizzCon, which makes him have the title of uh, the war, which makes him be the StarCraft World Champion. Well, until next year, when I don't know what's gonna go on. Now, I did not manage to catch, to catch this game live, because I was uh, at school by the time that this game happened. I know that... Uh, well, this game, this series of games. Anyway, now I know there have been some, I don't know who, perhaps casted this like at Home Story Cup. Now, Home Story Cup, one of my favorite gaming events. It's been in Germany, it was in Germany, I think. I love Germany. Schnitzels. If there is one word I use to describe Germany, it's Schnitzels. Probably. Now, anyway, uh, uh, what am I saying? Yes. I'm saying that, oh, look at that one, bit of a bit there, um, Serral waiting for the Reaper to leave so he can deal some damage with those dragons. Now the Reaper did not get that far, so it will be able to deflect like those dragons now. I love, I just love the skins on those Terranians. Now, in, ca in case you guys don't know, in case you guys didn't know that, uh, this game is played on the newest balance uh, ladder patch, which means that you can, uh, innovation can no longer build cyclones out of this factory. It needs a tech lab. Now, it looks like a Venshi is gonna be coming in. Now, we've also seen something else out of most players. Yep, it is indeed a Venshi. Now, I would have loved to see a battle cruiser here. We've seen some battle cruiser play, and uh, let me just tell you. Now, why am I saying that? Because battle cruisers have always had a weird place in Starcraft 2. There goes that overlord. That doesn't make any sense. That overlord got shot with bullets until it died and it exploded like it got shot by a Viking. Anyway, what I was saying is that the battle cruisers have already had a weird draw in Starcraft. Like on the down here where I play. Um. We use them mostly in TVT. Well, we used to. Anyway, just in TVT. And we sometimes see them like a battle cruiser rush in TBZ, but uh, yeah. But now, with the buff of battle cruisers and the nerf of Hydra Discs, I think you are much more likely to see battle cruisers be used in TBZ. Now, it is a weird strategy, and I don't think uh, Innovation is feeling confident enough to pull something like that off or to even try he's playing it very safe walling off morphing getting that command center on the low ground here to protect him letting Cyril do whatever trying to harass him but not commit to this just put your eggs in one all of your eggs in one basket and hope it works if I am right then yep innovation does morph that command center over there instead of getting it to its place first to its position. You know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Okay? Sometimes I can't English. Or I can, but it sounds weird. Alright. Alright, so Steam Packs are being researched right now. Um, a siege tank 
is out. I, I love those siege tanks. What what skins are those? Are those the Emotion skins? Those those uh, mines sure do look Emotion. By the way, do you guys know why Emotions are so advanced? I don't, and I sure would love to know. You know what I mean? Like seriously, now that siege tank. Compare it to your regular siege tank or to a siege breaker. That siege tank looks like it's capable of shooting lasers. Doesn't it? It sure does look like it can shoot lasers. It actually can, because it's a siege tank. Anyway, armory coming up here for innovation, as well as another siege tank. Even more siege tanks are now being queued up. Now, innovation is playing that uh, height, that height. Got some marine army, but banelings are here, and I think they will be able to attack those marines. Now, marines, I don't think they're here to deal damage, they're just here for the creep containment. Now, there is a banshee over here. Hold on, let's quickly get the vision of um, of Cheryl. He does see that one. Upgrade. All right, now more and more marines are coming out here for innovation. Uh, combat shields should be here any second now. I mean, they should start it anyway. Come on, innovation. I know you want them combat shields. Anyway. But it looks like for now, nothing too interesting, too interesting will be going on. Now, Cyril doesn't have 1 1, but 1 1 is on the way. And 2-2 two, two is on the way here for our Terran player in blue with the beautiful Umojan skins that I would love to have. Like, seriously, I'd love to have those skins. You know me, as a Fortnite player, I mean, I'm, I'm most and foremost a StarCraft player, but time to time, right? I like playing Fortnite, and when I do, I'm all about those skins. So it's only natural that I love to have those beautiful looking skins. Because, to be fair, everything that's in StarCraft 2 looks awesome. Now anyway, I probably be coming things more on the game and left those skins. Now, Innovation doing those uh, multi-front attacks. Now it's not careful to going to lose those money, especially to the bailings. Pick up there. What in the world was that? Now more Zerglings are joining in, but with the addition of Painlings here, I don't know if that's going to be enough for innovation. Now, yes, those Hydras would get absolutely demolished, especially because uh, they have been nerfed. Now, is there uh, going to be any Muta play? Doesn't look like it. Now, a uh, Widow Mine drop is gonna be happening. Multiple drops are happening at the same time. Innovation. Really, really abusing the fact of Kizak like Medivax. And I love this. Now, Serral does have a lot of shit spread. But Innovation is doing his very best to contain that. Now, those things are getting killed. Innovation can get. Nope, looks like Innovation will not be able to pick off those creep tumors and that medivac is extremely low on health. I mean, I mean, then there are way more marines over here, not even making marauders, just marines. Giving those health baths here to protect those siege tanks. Now, I mean, five? Where? Where? Where did they die? Where did the drones die? There they are. Now those widow mines are cloaked, but they can be seen because of the sport color. 15 drones went down. That's something that you know. Speaking of the marauders, here are the marauders for innovation. Combat shields are just now being started. More siege tanks as well. Oh no, never mind, just widow mines. Looks like. Innovation wants to play the bio army here. Now, Marines aren't great against Banes, right? But if you use Marauders and Widow Mines, you can deal a 
stupid amount of damage to bandings. I mean, the counter bandings really well. That's what I mean. Which can do a damage to them as they die, and if they if they die on top of your army, that's just a good example. Anyways, but Marauders can tank some of those uh, hits. And look at that. Just like that. If that was all Mohini, that army does it. Either dead or uh, picked up in the mechanic and the medivax and retreated. Now innovation. Leaving that we don't mind behind. But serious to be for that. At least I hope. Even though I'd love to see a juicy widow mine hit right there. Alright. Now only if Sarah knew that there are only two siege tanks here. And uh, anyway, more and more marauders are being produced right now. Oh a fusion core. Now this could obviously be for ranged liberators, keep that in mind. But it can also be for battle cruisers. Now, look at this. This army is great here for Serral. Hydrolink Bane is a great unit composition, regardless of what matches the flip, right? I mean, Rage Hydra is better than Protab. But right now, I just. I mean, I just have been nerfed. But that doesn't mean. By in any way that they are weak, hydras are some of the greatest weapons. Uh, have some of the greatest skills my bad, in all StarCraft 2. But right now, I'd like to see some mutant display. Oh, nice! Those were some juicy with the wine. Now that's a nice move there by innovation, trying to get the um, trying to get those widow wines out of the range of those uh, hydras. Or rather, of that squad color so they can't be detected. Now, yeah, that was not supposed to happen. The one more other got steamed for some reason. Oh, free free is here. Now there are two burrowed banelings right here. Vipers are out on the map. Raptors are also going coming out. They are probably for broodlords. Broodlords are pretty good units. You know, against bio. I don't know. Innovation is just playing that bio. Now it's just for range liberator guys. I honestly don't think there's a way to do this. Too bad for this in this particular matchup. Anyway, but. This aggression will be continuing for a little more, for a little longer at least. But there's no denying that uh, supply-wise, innovation is ahead. But where's that? Where's all that supply at? No, it's serious. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, those two bandings. They could have been deadly. No, there's no denying that's a lot of stuff. And. What's even scarier is the fact that there are literally like five liberators being produced here. Liberator range is nowhere to be seen. But uh, yeah, five liberators are coming out even though I think. Nice we don't mind hits right there. That's a waste. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Alright, so it looks like Innovation is behind, he's got 173 workers, you know, 173 is not that many. Now, Liberators are here, but those Vipers are incredible. Those are ducks are doing an incredible job. Now, there aren't that many Marines and Marauders left over here for Innovation. He desperately needs the Vikings. He needs a lot more Vikings, this is not gonna be enough, there's just 5 Vikings. He is like 10, 15 of them. Birdlords are not upgraded whatsoever. Two shows have died. What's going on here? I think it was a widow mind drop. But STVs are starting to be dropped. And this is where Serral. Serral will be shot. Step of engagement and matchup in general. But it looks like. In the end of the day. 
that army of Stero will be deflected. Now innovation is producing more money than more others, but immediately 26 uh, zerglings and 37 banings are being produced, as well as the ultra risk upgrade, which means we might as well see ultra risks. Now, I'd love. I don't know actually, I have no idea what uh, to do right now, but big banning is on all of that army. And there's not a lot of stuff left, you might wanna pick those up buddy. Innovation my man, you might wanna, you might wanna just like this slide. Now vipers aren't here just yet. So those liberators can provide a lot of value, but those hydras are simply killing them. Nice split on those marines, those siege tanks providing a lot of value. Now there are two siege tanks here, they have armor upgrades, but they are not so strong. Now, big hits on the Zerglings, by the way, the mines, those siege tanks will be providing some value here. But in of but the uh, Serral is just swarming innovation. I don't even know where that six, six army supply is at because I can't see any army whatsoever. I think it's the main event. It has to be the main event. But doesn't even matter right now. Because if that Serral takes game number seven and the whole best of seven series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you didn't please leave a like and subscribe for more StarCraft 2 content whenever I have the chance. Also leave a comment down below if uh, you want to see Battlefield 5 as I said in the first uh, game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed leave a like and subscribe. Also don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload. Also I have a Twitter in the description below. I'll be posting some interesting stuff so make sure to follow me there. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.